What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Um, we're, in this video, we're going to break down the use of Narcan. It's going to be used for opiate overdoses. Um, so examples of opiates could be heroin, it could be morphine, fentanyl, carfentanyl. And, uh, you know, the signs and symptoms of what you would see with these patients are respiratory depression, altered mental status, um, and you when you see and pinpoint pupils, maybe track marks, maybe a bystander, friends or family um, have described that they have a history with opiate overdoses. And so when you come on scene, um, you know, you have these thoughts after you see these signs and symptoms, you're going to ask your partner um, to go grab the Narcan. And while they're doing that, you're going to utilize this um, positive pressure ventilation via the bag valve mass device. So don't wait for the Narcan to initiate this. So continue with the head tilt chin lift, provide positive pressure ventilation, use that OPA, NPA if you have to, um, provide suction if you have to as well. And Kimberly is here um, to walk us through the use of Narcan. She's going to utilize this pre-filled syringe. So um, it's naloxone is the uh, is the generic name and Narcan's the trade name but as you see on the box it's gonna say two milligrams per two milliliters and we also have this um, MAD device as well. Um, Kimberly go ahead and open open the box. Alright and so we'll have two, two things um, the actual syringe part and then the actual medication and uh, go ahead and pop, pop the caps off. Good. And then pop the cap off the purple. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then um, keep the cap on. And then you're going to twist um, twist all the way until you can't twist anymore. Is that ready to go? Mm -hmm. Great. And our local protocol is to give one milligram in each nostril. And if we have a total of two milligrams, it's going to be half in each nostril, so one, one milliliter per nostril. Um, the other part of this is utilizing this device called a MAD, or an atomization device. MAD is short for mucosal atomization device, and she's going to take off um, the yellow, yellow part of that, and then you're going to apply the MAD to the Narcan. Just twist. It's a lure lock. And she's, that's, just, you're, that's essentially ready to go now. And um, Go ahead and demonstrate just giving half in each nostril. So it's one milliliter in each nostril. I don't know if you can catch that in the video. It's a fine mist, right? It's so fine and we just give it up the nose and you get, give it, yep, give it all of it. That's exactly it. I don't know if you caught that, guys. <laughs> um, but that's Narcan. It comes in a pre-filled syringe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, after we administer the Narcan, give a couple ventilations with the BVM and reassess. If the patient is still um, unresponsive, that's okay. Our goal with this is to restore adequate ventilations. We don't necessarily want to wake this patient up um, immediately from their stupor. Uh, we want them to be breathing adequately on their own. So that's the goal. And if they're not breathing adequately on their own, then you're going to utilize more Narcan. And if, if it exceeds your local protocols, then call medical control and ask for further direction. Okay? See you in the next video.